In this quick video, I am going to show you how you can disable two-factor authentication for Zoom. Well, it is also a matter where you can manage the two-factor authentication, but I want to focus on disabling it this time because sometimes it does come as a default setting for Zoom. Why do you want to disable it? So for my case, it happens to me a while back when I was running a Zoom meeting. I was supposed to start the meeting and I was not around, so I give the access to someone else just to help me start. But he's not able to start it because of the two-factor authentication. And that gives a lot of problem for everyone else. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can do it and it can be done very easily. So let's go. So first of all, of course, now you are in Zoom. Let's go into my account. Now for this, you need to have admin access to it. So just make sure that you have your admin access to your Zoom account. Okay. So you see admin here, you scroll all the way down, you should be able to see advanced. Click on this advanced. Go to security. And under security, you can scroll all the way down. You should be able to see here. Sign in with two-factor authentication. So you can turn it on if you want to, but there will be a few things that you need to do it. Okay. You need to select whether it's all user in your account or user with specific roles that need the two-factor authentication, a user belonging to specific group, and there's a few authentication methods. It can be app, text messages, etc. But for me, I do not want to do it. Okay, so here you can click on reset if they are stuck. So for me, no. So just put it back, disabling it. So if you want to turn on the authentication, all you have to do is just turn this on, log out, log back in, and then they will ask you for authentication. So you can whether use SMS, authentication software like Google Authenticator, or even their code, all right? But for me, I prefer just leave it on. But for safety, if you want to do it, just go ahead and do it. So all right, if you like what I share, do give me a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and i see you next time. Goodbye.